Schmacka. Yeah, got your attention, didn't I? Well, guys, it is Bucky, and uh, if you are looking for an enjoyable Objective C tutorial, then you are in the wrong place because, you know, no jokes this tutorial. I've decided to, you know, just all business teaching, nothing funny. Let's get right down to business, all right? If you want uh, some jokes, then go watch some other videos. But now we're just learning some Objective C. So we already built this class called Leslie that inherited everything from NS Object. And by inheriting it, it means by able to use all the variables in method. But now, Leslie had this baby, and its name was Bucky. So let's go ahead and make a class called Bucky. At interface, I wish all that crap didn't pop up. Bucky, I'm going to inherit everything from Leslie. So what exactly does this mean? Well, now that I inherited everything from my mom, and she inherited everything from NS Object, I automatically get all of her variables, all of her methods, and all of NS Object's methods. Pretty cool, huh? And variables, by the way. So now, let's go ahead and build a method of my own. And I will name this void, and I'll just do something simple, print thing. Uh, let's see, easy enough. And n, and now let's go also add a. Thank God that pops up though, because I hate typing in implementation. Just this other stuff didn't pop up that nice. Now let's implement my stuff. Should just copy this, but anyways. Void. So what does my print thing method do? Well, what is going to do. There we go. It's just gonna ns log, and if you're saying, all right, this is the finally the uh, answer to all your questions. If we never made this method ns log, why were we able to use it in the last you know 800 tutorials? Well, since ns log is a method in the class ns object, so since Leslie inherited all these methods and we inherited from Leslie that gave us the permission to use nslog since it got passed down from generation to generation now any kids we have are going to be able to use it so nslog and it's just going to print out let's see percent i for integer that's dollar i don't do that don't smell this at home what's that guy on blunt text say don't breathe this in guys or something dumb like that and a so here brings up another point. You're saying, all right, Bucky, you're going to get an error. I'm looking at your class right now. You never declared a variable called A. So how are you going to print out this dumb A variable? That's in your mom's class right here, this uh, implementation of Leslie. But guys, don't forget, whenever I inherited from Leslie, I not only inherited all her methods, I also inherited all of her variables right here. So anything that she can do, I can do as well. The beauty of inheritance. So now let's go ahead and let me prove this to you guys. So now check this out. We got NS object and it has a ton of methods of variables that too many that I can even list. Now Leslie, my mom, has a variable A and this method called meth, which pretty much sets A to 50. Now I have this method called print thing and since I inherited from NS object and my mom I can not only use methods from there but also variables from there pretty cool huh so let's go ahead and in our main method right here let's go ahead and let's see what we need to do after typing this stuff Bucky uh, make a pointer I'm just gonna name my object B I mean why not and set equal to See, I wish this stuff filled in too. All the stuff that I don't want to fill in, fills in. So, Bucky, allocate me some memory and initialize that beast, beast dice. And now, B, meth. And you're like, hold on, Bucky, one last time. I'm looking at your interface right here, and you only have this one method called print thing. You don't have this method called meth that's in your mom's class but guys don't forget since I inherited from my mom anything that she can use I can use pretty cool huh 
So even though we made this in Leslie, Bucky's able to use it. So with that being noticed, we can also use my method print thing and um, just so I talk you guys through this, what method does is pretty much sets A to 50 print thing just takes A and prints it out and then once we're done with all that memory that they allocated we gotta give it back so I don't crash my computer and now pool drain and return zero uh, let's build and run this and see what we get save all there we go I just had to scroll down I thought someone was messed up so all it does is print out 50 so one last time let me uh, show you guys what's going on well I already talked about that enough let's just go to this alright there's this class built into your computer already it's called NS object it has a ton of methods and variables just wanting you to use them but in order to use them you have to inherit them and we inherit them all in a class called Leslie so I'll give you guys the definitions later and then Leslie had a child and that child's name was Bucky not Biuki and he inherited everything from Leslie and NS object so anything NS object had Bucky could use anything Leslie had Bucky can use so the terminology for this is this any time a class is above you it's called your super class so Leslie and NS objects are super classes of Bucky and NS object is a super class of Leslie now any class that's under you is called a subclass did I say a super no I didn't I said that right it's called a subclass so for example if you're saying if your teacher said give me all the subclasses of NS object you would say Leslie and Bucky if he said give me all the subclasses of Bucky you said oh there is none and you get a hundred on your test thank you and again from uh, super classes and subclasses a lot of people also call them parents and children so for example um, the parent of Leslie would be NS object and the child of Leslie would be Bucky now the parent of Bucky would be Leslie and the grandparent of Bucky would be NS object um, so you know it's just different terminology if you ever talk to a programmer and say you know what's the parents of Bucky or what's the super classes of Bucky they'll understand what you're talking about it means the same thing but pretty much you inherit everything from your parents and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so in this tutorial one last time Leslie inherited everything from NS object which gave us a bunch of methods including NS log she also made a couple of her own methods called meth which and a variable called a and then Bucky inherited everything from Leslie which was pretty much a meth and all the methods from NS objects so he had the most methods of all so whenever he wanted to call his little thing B meth he was able to do that and B print thing he was able to do that too so uh, I'm running out of time for this tutorial but if you have any uh, uh, I don't know fuzziness on subject again like I said do not message me on YouTube messenger I never look at it whatsoever um, if you want to get a hold of me go to my forum I'll put a link in the description box because I'm always on there I'll be so happy to answer any of your questions and um, I'll also have the source code for these tutorials on there so uh, one last time thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for subscribing and uh, hopefully I'll see you in my forum